Hello everybody, welcome to Bear Bear Reviews, here with Hannah, who's not got a nickname yet, but we'll find something out for her. Um, this is a little bit of a celebration beer because this young, little, pretty <laughs> lady of mine has just passed her degree with a nice, fantastic 2-1 high, high five. Which is very ironic because we've got a beer here from Handbrigger. Can you see the connection? Can you see the link there? Uh, hold it a bit towards the light. This is Jekyll. Um, the barley wine that they produce. Uh, these guys are from Norway, which is one of our... We love Scandinavia, so it's something fitted as well. Um, love it. We love Scandinavia. Um, these guys are one of the only kind of Norwegian brewers around. There's Nogna U as well, and there's a few others as well, but these guys are kind of the forefront of it all. Um, this one seems like a really interesting one. We got sent to us by the uh, beer vault before it went defunct, unfortunately. Um, I should crack that open. Um, which went defunct, and it's a bit of a shame really because they were sending some really cool beers out. Um, but this is, uh, according to them, a kind of a, a an almost Belgian take on a barley wine style. So I'm just pour a bit out of that. A little bit, just a little bit. Clocking in at a good old 9.5%, it says on the back of it, uh, our brewers, Joan and David, have made a fruity, multi creaming, and warming barley wine from hell to celebrate our batch number 666. Uh, which sounds pretty cool indeed. But yeah, like a Belgian style one, so something akin to a quad um, is what we're looking for. Um, in the glass, we have a little bit of a light, a little bit of hasting on the top of the glass, a little bit of a head, and it's this lovely, like, burnt toffee orange colour, like a really kind of deep orange colour, which is pretty cool. It's not the darkest uh, bar one I've ever seen, it's not the lightest one either. Um, so let's get in a good old smell hand. Ooh, what do you think? Fruity. Yeah, I think it's pretty free. Great fruity, maybe? Yeah, I, I genuinely would, yeah. Um, I wasn't sure what to make of it. It obviously has a little bit of kind of citrusy piney note going on. Almost like it's pretty hoppy, like American style, but I'd say it's got a big hit of alcohol as well. It kind of it twinges the nose. And definitely kind of plum, figgy, Belgian malty characters as well. Um, cancer ticks both boxes really malty, but also quite a big hop forward as well. So, chin chin, young lady. Cheers. Congratulations. Cheers. Thank you. Yeah. That's interesting. It's pretty fruit on the palate as well, I think. It's um, very quite got a lot of notes of plum rather than the grapefruit I was expecting. Yeah, I think it's probably a lot, lot, lot less happy. Um, it's a little bit of bitterness in the background as well. Nice bit of kind of toffee malt in it too. Um, quite a bit of sweetness, but it's barley well, that's to be expected. Um, I'd say it's quite a lot thinner than I thought it would be as well. Because um, I think it's. Um, I think it's, it, it kind of goes watery quite quickly. It's got a nice thick up front, but then it kind of disappears quite quickly, and there's, there's a little bit of bitterness in the background of it. It's got a bit of a honey flavour as well, I think. Yeah, I guess so. Kind of a little malt character. A little bit of alcohol as well on the back of the nose and on the palate. Big bitterness. It's pretty good. Yeah, actually, it is pretty good. Um, I'd, I'd love it to be a little bit, a little bit thicker, a little bit more gumption to it. And I reckon probably because we serve it quite cold, if it warms up a little bit, maybe we'll get a little bit more of kind of a malty character out of it. That remains to be seen at least. Um, it's pretty decent now. I'm probably going to give this a nice uh, 8.5 out of 10 for me. It's a decent barley wine. I'm going to enjoy it and it's definitely going to see us through for our little night of celebrations. <laughs> what about you, Anna? What would you give it? I, I'd probably give it a 6. Ooh, scathing. <laughs> scathing. She's not a fan, unfortunately. Uh, reasons? Uh, I, barley wine's um, not my favourite type of beer, uh, for one, but yeah, 6 out of 10. Yeah, cool, brilliant. <laughs> Alright, well, please like, very content, subscribe once again. Hold well on, Hannah. Thank Until you. next video, everyone. Cheers. Cheers.